Hello, welcome to this video. Right, this video I'm going to be talking about the tattoo process for old Packard Bell computers. Sort of 95, 98 era and some XP machines. Uh, I think after that, I think they switched to a different system and, well, Packard Bell kind of didn't exist after that really. So, a bit of backstory. I've had these Packard Bell Master Restore CDs for about 22 years. I've been hanging on to them for I don't know why really. Um, but I've been thinking I'd really like to install these to get all the original like software games just just to get a copy of the old what my old Club 30 computer used to be like. This is a Club 30. It's not my original Club 30. In 98 uh, my family we got a Packard Bell Club 30 which is identical to this and it was great. I mean, I have a lot of good memories about that. Uh, it's just, I'd like to go back to that era. So I found this chassis. It was empty. I found the motherboard, CPU, etc. separately. And I built it up. And I thought, great. I can come to install my Packard Bell software on it now. It's got Packard Bell motherboard, everything. Everything that was in this computer as it was, it's all there. The hard drive, PSU and some cables in there are different. That doesn't matter. But could I install the software? Nope. Nope, I couldn't. The reason for that is Packard Bell used to put a hidden sector on the hard drive. Now, on that hidden sector was everything related to the computer that the hard drive is in. So when it came from the factory, there's a little partition on there, and it'll have all the information, like serial number, platform, uh, what motherboard it is, what cards it's got, if it's got any modem cards, sound cards, graphics cards, etc. So, the Restore CDs, they'd have made a Restore CD for a year's worth of models. Uh, it's got everything on there for different computers that they made over that year. And on that hidden sector, that'll tell the CDs what drivers and software packages and suites, etc. to install on the computer. Also, the hidden sector is a little way of it being, being able to validate itself. So, if you make any changes with it, it might not like it. So, there's the problem. How do you tattoo a new hard drive into an old Packard Bell PC to, to run the old uh, Restore Media on? Now, there's a website out there called passion-pb.fi. It's a French website, and on there is everything related to tattoo process for these machines and recovery, and etc. On there is a file which will let you make a tattoo restore or a tattoo floppy. Now I've had to do that in another computer. Uh, I copied it onto a stick and I did this on my uh, uh, e-machines computer. So I've got a floppy. Now what you do, you'll put this floppy in, you'll boot up off this floppy and that will let you tattoo a hidden sector. Then you'll be able to just use your master floppy and restore CDs to then install the original operating system. Now I did this the other night, I finally managed to get it working. It's not as simple as just going on the Passion PV website and getting all the information off there and tattooing. Because uh, the, the problem is that website is French. Now, at the top of that website is a little Google Translate thing, like up in this top corner here, and you could translate English or whatever it is. Unfortunately, some of the serial numbers and other stuff on that site are for the French region. And some of the things on the their CDs and our CDs will be slightly different. Now, I'll go into this a bit more in the next video, as I say, this, this will probably be a two-part, because I'm already nearly four minutes into this video as it is. Um, so I'll tell you, because basically there's some codes, and on the end of them codes there's a couple of numbers, and them numbers will signify what region, country, language, or whatever, or CDs you're using. Now, in my case, I had to slightly modify them. I'll tell you or show you what I did in the next video, and you'll be able to do that. So... Once you've done the tattoo process, you'll then be able to install the original media. Obviously, if you're trying to install a regular box standard version of Windows 98, that's fine, that will work. What we're talking about here is getting the original Packard Bell Master sort of recovery software to install. So, as I say, on, on, when it came from the factory, on this hard drive, there'd have been a little hidden sector on there. So when you pop the floppy and the CD in, it'll do a check and say, right, yep, yeah, that's validated, and this is all the information I need uh, to, to know what drivers and software, etc., to put on the machine. Now, I'll say, I've wanted a, bad club, a Packard Bell Club 30 computer for a long time. 
So this has been a bit of a sort of journey for me to <laughs> go back and get this running. And uh, it was a bit of a... I had to do a lot of reading up, a lot of research, and I finally got there. It took a little little bit of trial and error to get there. And if I can help anyone else to do this, then that would be great. Because there's not a lot of information out there. And like I say, the information on that passion hyphen dash whatever you call it pb.fr website um it's not wrong it's correct if you're in the french region and you have the french uh master cds it will work but if you try doing that it 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 won't like the uh it won't like this version of cds you have so in the other video i'll set up my camera on the screen i'll go through the tattoo process and i'll i'll, I'll tell you what it's all about like i said this video is five minutes now um, I need to figure out how how I'm going to do it all. I need need to print out some information so I can talk and do stuff on camera because I used my phone last time I did it. So, like I say, if 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 you're interested in the tattoo process, if you're trying to get a Packard Bell computer with original Restore Media uh, back up and running, say you've got one in the loft, you've still got the CDs, but the hard drive's knackered, you want to put a new hard drive in there with the original media, you're going to need to do this process. Or even if you change the hardware, you're going to need to do this process because it isn't going to like it. If it thinks something else is in there, you change it and then, yeah, it's it's not going to like that very much. So I say, I hope I can help other people doing this. It was a bit frustrating, to be honest. I mean, it's epic now. I actually have it all working. I need a little bracket to install. It's an old little laptop hard drive there, so I'm going to install that under the floppy drive. So, like I say, very soon, in the next week or so, I'll do another video. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It'll be, it'll probably be a 10, 15 minute video, maybe 20 minutes. So that's why I'm going to sort of segment it up. This is just an explanation, really, of, of what's coming. So if you don't, if you have the CDs and you don't already have the Master Floppy, um, I would definitely look into getting a Master Floppy because these old computers, you couldn't boot from the floppy, uh, boot from the CD drive. You have to have a floppy drive to install now i created this seed uh, this floppy drive with a bit of help um sorry i'm not used to saying floppy drive uh, floppy disk <laughs> it's been a long time i'm not used to saying the words floppy and disk um ever anymore uh there's a great website uh sorry facebook for yeah facebook <laughs> group out there called um planet uh retro planet packard bell or something if you put retro packard bell planet or something into facebook that'll come up those guys on there are great also if you're having issues with old technology and stuff there's a great forum called vogons um there's there's some stuff on there on uh, some sections of that forum some of the guys on there helped me out no end in fact i wouldn't have been able to figure out the french region thing if it wasn't for one guy um yeah helping out on there so Again, Facebook groups are awesome. Um, yeah, and Vogons are really good as well. So, say so next video will be coming up hopefully within the next week. And uh, yeah, if that helps anyone, brilliant. Because, uh, yeah, if we can save some old Packard Bell PCs, that'd be great. I mean, I say uh, they were never great PCs, but it's been how long now? And uh, it'd be nice to preserve some if we can. It's. Uh, it's a bit of computing history, even though they were pretty naff, even for their day. So, but some for some of us, it's it's not necessarily about the value today. It's about the sentimental value. And I say I'm going to put all my old games and software and stuff on there, and there'll be a bit of a trip down memory lane. I've got the old E machine, so that's an XP machine, but that's great as well. I mean, it, it it's all great. So if I can help someone uh, along the way, sweet. Anyway, guys, uh, let's say keep your eyes peeled for another video, and see you next time. Cheers.